What is up guys and welcome back to another TBC Classic gold farming video. So today I'm showing you my new personal favorite gold farm in TBC Classic. I've been doing this one a little bit off camera and stuff like that for the past couple of hours actually only. But I've been doing this one, it feels absolutely great. And I decided to do like an entire hour where I track the time, track the loot and track everything to see the exact gold per hour with the current market value. So what I'm doing for this video is the same thing I've been doing for previous gold farming tests, which is what I'm, I'm finishing the last two minutes of the farm itself while I'm on, on the camera or doing it while recording. And then after that we are heading to Stormwind, where we are checking out the final gold per hour. So this is a herbalism and a mining gold farm. I'm not going to grab any of the, these three because they are so low value and there's so many mobs around them so we are skipping those and moving straight to the next ones. But I'm going to show you the location, the farming route and everything. This is my new personal favorite though when it comes to farming gold in TBC. It feels very good, you are making a lot of gold and you are making it through so many different items. I guess I'll just show you my banks right now while we are finishing the farm itself. So you can see what I've gotten so far. And the main thing I'm farming for is these nightmare vines right here. And I have two, two and a half. Yeah, I have 75 of those. Yeah, three and a half stack. 75 nightmare veins so, uh, vines so far. And they are used in crafting potions. I'll talk a little bit more about that after we finish the farm itself. I want to try to find one more of them. But basically, the farming location or the route itself looks like this. So you're basically run, uh, flying around in a circular fashion throughout the place. Now the one thing I've cut out a little bit recently when I'm farming is the southeast part. Because down there you're not really getting any nightmare vines, you can get mana thistles. It is the only place in Netherstorm to do get mana thistles. So if you do want mana thistles you can do that one. But it is a massive route that will take a lot of time. If you're doing this entire lap, then it should take you about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how many things you find, and if you have both herbalism and mining. If you only have herbalism, then you might have to take a little bit less stops to gather things, so you might make it a little bit faster. So that, that is the entire one hour completed, I'll show you my bags as well. So this is what we've gotten so far. Now the one thing I like about this one compared to, for example, I showed you a nether storm farm very recently, for both mining and herbalism as well, where you're farming for nether bloom and also adamantite. The thing I really like about Shadowmoon Valley and this farm right here is the fact that you're getting a ton of fell iron. I've gotten 43 fell iron ores so far, and personally I prefer getting those to adamantite because they are worth a lot more. At least last time I checked, which was this morning, they were worth like twice as much as adamantite. So I much prefer getting the fell iron. And also, while mining fell iron, you can get modes of fire, which sells for a lot of gold, so it's a win-win. From the farm itself though, you're getting a ton of different materials, which is once again great, because that way you have more different unique items to sell, and the more different things you are selling, the faster they will sell, and the faster you will make your gold. So you're getting both fell iron ores, nightmare vines, fell weed, adamantite, primal earth, you're getting Dreamlight Glory, Saturnium, Modes of Mana. I got these while killing a mob, actually, all the way down here as well at the Netherwing Ledge while grabbing a flower, so that was a lucky drop. You're getting Tarot Cones, Fell Lotus, Modes of Fire, and also Nightmare Seed. You're getting a bit of everything, which is absolutely great. I also got a rare gem. It should have been a blue, uh, red one, because the red ones are worth a lot, but it was a yellow one. I don't think that one is worth too much. But let's talk a little bit about the farm itself. So I've shown you the location, but I'll also show you exactly why you should farm for Nightmare Vines. So if you take a look at this screenshot right here, you can see exactly what the Nightmare Vines are used for. And you can see they are used in crafting a lot of different potions, as well as flasks and, uh, and potions and flasks and elixirs. And the one thing I really wanted to take, take a look at is the Flask of Pure Death. This one will be wanted by pretty much every single caster, at least most of them, and it requires 7 of these, like 7 Nightmare Vines, to craft one of those elixirs, or flasks. So that's going to require a lot of these, which means the demand will be super high, 
And you guys know, there's a lot of casters in TBC, a lot of people re-rolled the Warlocks, you have Mages, and Shadow Priests as well. So a lot of people have been re-rolling to casters, meaning the demand for these flasks and elixirs will be massive throughout the expansion. So the demand is definitely there for the Nightmare Vines, and that is why this farm right here will be relevant for a long time in TBC. Now we are going to go to Stormwind and check out the final gold per hour from the farm itself, but before we do that, I want to shout out the gold making guide for TBC by Studen, which is a fantastic gold making guide for TBC Classic, where you can find different primal farms as well as different profession farms, and just in general a lot of gold farms for TBC Classic. For example, I made a video yesterday about a gold farm for giants in Terokar Forest, and that gold farm came out in this guide approximately two days before it came out to the public. So by getting this guide, you are getting fantastic gold farms, and also head starts on certain gold farms. So if you're looking to make, for example, you can find different farms for herbalism and mining, and this is just one of them, there's several of them in the book as well. If you want to make gold in TBC, definitely go and check it out. And if you want to buy it, you can use my code, which is Solheim, to save 50%. And with that being said, I think it's about time we go to Stormwind and check out the final gold per hour from selling all of these items. Okay guys, so we're at the auction house now. We didn't go to Stormwind, I kinda lied. We went to Ironforge instead, because there's less people here. So here we go, we have about... We have 79 gold of Fell Iron Ore. I did the math before this, by the way, so I'm just going to show you real quick. And then you can do the price corrections yourself. We have 255 gold of Nightmare Vines. And Fellween, we have only 9 gold of Fellween because they are super cheap. For Adamantite Ore, we have 62 gold worth of Adamantite Ore using the cheapest price point. Then I didn't actually count these modes, I only counted the primals. Then for Dreaming Glories, Dreaming Glory, we have 23 gold worth of Dreaming Glory, as they are worth a bit over, yeah, 1.5 gold each. When it comes to Ethernium Ore, we have 6 gold worth of that, rounding down of course, so we actually made more, but I'm rounding down instead of rounding up. And when it comes to Fell Iron, we just check that one, so never mind. Mana Thistles, we have one of those, that's another 10 gold right there. Actually rounded up on that one, because it's one copper difference. Uh, Dawnstone, we have 13 gold worth of Dawnstone, if you use the cheapest one. Then we go over to the next item, which is the Primal Earth. For Primal Earth, I wrote down 12 gold, yeah, they're worth 6 gold each, 595 now, apparently. Then we also have Hell Lotus, we have 16 gold worth of Hell Lotus. Someone actually reset the price of this on my server very recently, like in the last couple of hours. Because when I woke up today, this was worth 6 gold each. It was 6 gold and 40. So this one might be a bit overpriced, and I think someone just reset the price. So it might come back down. We also have the Primal Earth, right? Yeah, Modes of Fire then. Modes of Fire, we have 3 of those. I counted this as 15 gold instead of rounding up. So we could have gone for 16. But I'm counting it as 15. And then we have 2 more items, I believe. Yeah, we have Modes of Mana. We need to count those as well. That's another 4 gold right there, once again rounding down. And Nightmare Steed, so these are also actually selling. And they are selling for 8.95. I counted them as 8, we have 3 of them, so that is 24. So rounding down on every single item, that is a total gold per hour of 498. If we actually use the actual values, that would be over 500 gold per hour from the farm itself. And that is pretty much it for the video, that is the entire thing, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is now my favourite gold farm in TBC Classic, I hope you enjoyed it. Go and test it out for yourself, let me know how it goes, give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you again very soon.